Today we're going to make this easy paper plate ghost craft. To get started, you are going to need some scissors, also some glue, a pencil, here I have a little ribbon but string or yarn will do, some black paper, a paper plate, I'm using white, and some white tissue. Once you have all of your supplies, we will get started. The very first thing you're going to do is you want to make a face. So I'm going to use my black piece of paper. I'm going to trim a little bit off for the mouth and the rest I'm going to use for the eyes. So the little bit I trimmed off for the mouth, I'm going to grab my pencil and I'm going to draw an oval. So I'm drawing a large oval and this is going to be the mouth. I'm just going to use a white crayon to trace over that just so that you can see. So whatever shape you would like for your mouth, here we're drawing a very large oval. Once that is on your page, you are then going to take the rest of your black. You're going to fold that in half. We're going to make the eyes. So see it's folded in half. That will give me two eyes when I'm done. I'm going to show you here with my white crayon that I'm drawing another oval. Oh, and I just broke my crayon. So there we go, we're drawing another oval. It's a little bit smaller because these are going to be the eyes and once that is done, go ahead and start cutting those out. You will end up with two eyes and one mouth Then you're gonna grab some glue and just glue those right onto your paper plate. Then you're going to take the tissue paper. Now my tissue paper is already folded but I just wanna line it up at the top so that when I cut, my strips are all the same. So I'm just going to line this up so it all matches right at the top. There we go. And then once I'm done, I am going to start cutting. Now you could use a ruler if you want. So here you go, I'm just gonna show you. There's the layers. You could use a ruler and draw a straight line, but you do not have to, whatever's gonna work for you. And you were just going to cut whatever size strips you would like. You just want to choose that size and keep going with that same size as you continue to cut. So you're gonna cut your first set, then your second set, and just keep going until you have used up all of your tissue paper. You really can't have too many of these and you could decide later when you're gluing them on that maybe you don't wanna use as many or maybe you want more. Once you have those strips, you're going to grab that paper plate. You're going to turn it over, make sure you're near the bottom, and you're going to just put some glue right on that paper plate and just place that tissue paper, tissue paper right on top. So you see it's pretty easy to get the tissue paper to stick. So I'm going to put my first layer down, and then once I have that first layer, those little extra pieces, I can just layer on top of my first layer, just in between each one. There's no right or wrong, you could add more, you could do fewer of these tissue paper strips, whatever you like. Once you're happy with the way that looks, you are now going to put a little hole at the top. Now I'm going to use a pencil, but you could definitely just use a hole punch. Just be careful with this, you might need someone to help you. So I just popped a little hole at the top. I am putting my ribbon through and going to tie a knot. You could use yarn or string for this as well. And once that ribbon is tied, you are ready to hang up your ghost. Thanks for joining me on Craft Club for Kids to make this easy paper plate ghost craft. Remember, be creative and have fun.